Hello. Um, I am really thrilled. Hi, I'm Tim Freundlich. I'm on the board and also um, the president of Impact Assets, which is the hat I'm going to wear uh, to cover my bald head um, today. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit and tee up uh, John Struer, who's the new CEO of Calvert Investments. Calvert, um, as I said, a few remarks last night. I mean, this is an institution that has been in the arguably the impact investing space truly for 40 years. So I always try to kind of think as we approach, and I've been doing this for about 18 years now, like we have to think in decades, as, as impatient as we are, as much needs to get done, we also have to be in touch with the shoulders upon which we stand. And I very much think Calvert Investments is such a place. When I was there starting in 97, they were already doing a ton of microfinance, ton of community development, <clears throat> financial in, uh, institution investing. They were doing venture investing in social ventures all across the United States and the world. And this is, 18 years ago, and they'd been doing it for five or six years already. So um, I, I just I can't can't sing their praises enough. John, uh, I met him at the beginning of this year when he took over his uh, the CEO. He had just left AMG Funds, which was a 60 billion dollar asset management uh, firm, and he's taken over the reins and totally impressed me in terms of his leadership and vision and and the refresh. I think he's going to. They've done a lot over the last 40 years. I think they're going to do a lot over the next four. I'll just say that, and uh, he's going to come here, up here and talk about that. Uh, really special um, thanks to him, too, for the, the work he's done and the collaborative stance with Impact Assets and bringing some of our new investment notes to market uh, in the next month. So uh, please join me in welcoming John Strur, the CEO of Calvert Investments. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Tim. I appreciate it. It's great to see everyone. Yeah, and I wrote down two lines from the, um, the program introduction so that I could um, try to deliver the comments that you came for. One is impact through the capital markets, and the other is how to effectively drive change. I'd just like to talk about that a little bit. What change are we trying to drive, and what role do you all play in that? Well, the change we're trying to drive is to get major corporations worldwide to move their behaviors in a way that's consistent with the evolving social norms that we're all helping to influence. This is the group of people, really, that is on the leading edge of that. You're the social entrepreneurs, you are the innovators, you're on the ground, and you're helping to codify the kind of social norms change that we need, the kind of change that will create a more sustainable environmental system for the planet, the kind of change that we need that will solve some of the tremendous social injustices that our global capital markets suffer from. So you're the leading innovators, you're driving the change. Now how do we at Calvert use the global capital markets to help impact investor behavior and to further drive the change that you're starting on the ground? What does it mean to work in the global capital markets alongside of the world's largest financial institutions where trillions of dollars are moving daily between companies. And what role do we all play in trying to solve climate change and social injustice? We find it at Calvert necessary to compete on their terms in the respect that we need to produce the financial results that are competitive with all major investors but we also must find the public companies that are behaving differently, that are changing their operations, and that are treating people on the ground with care and justice, and that are moving their operations forward to have a much less impact on the environment and reduce greenhouse gas emissions and help solve the devastating problems associated with climate change. As we hear about impact investing going mainstream, it's good news, but it's also very concerning because we must also really understand what companies are doing throughout the world. On one hand, it's terrific to have a global information system that can inform us about what's happening in India and Pakistan and throughout the world so we can see global supply chains. But we need to know the reality of what the companies are doing and we cannot depend on the financial industry to provide us with metrics that tell us about that. We need a social fabric of people like yourselves to help define the standards and tell us what's happening on the ground. We must maintain independence and objectivity 
as we seek to use the global capital markets to move our common agenda forward. Critically, we need impact investors and networks of impact investors like those of you in this room. For Calvert's part, we're investing in you through our high impact program, and we are asking large global corporations to do more business with small and medium-sized enterprises globally. We're asking major global corporations to think about how they impact local communities, how they treat people from those who need protection as indigenous people to the poorest people in the world, as well as people with unique cultures that don't necessarily agree with the Western ways. So this is a major effort that we're all involved in together. Now let me talk a little bit about what 2015 looks like, because I think when we look back at 2015, we have the potential to see this as a transformative year, not only for your work, but that of the global capital markets. And I'd just like to cite the work that the Pope did in writing the encyclical and getting major publicity for the needs of the poorest people in the world and for the needs to solve the impacts of climate change. I'd also like to share with you the activities of 10 days ago in New York as we worked to pass the Sustainable Development Goals in 2015. It was a tremendous event, very different from what we've ever seen at the United Nations before, where we had the leaders of the largest nations, not just the finance ministers, but the Angela Merkels, the Barack Obamas, um, and everybody from around the world coming together with public companies. Um, I was in a meeting with, with those people, with Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook, um, with Paul Pullman from Unilever. Our special guest was Bono from U2, and he said metrics three times. Um, so really, we have a, a unique situation in 2015 where we see a confluence of events coming together to focus world leaders, public policy players, private enterprise on driving sustainable development goals worldwide. It's extremely encouraging, but I just want to, um, to close and uh, reaffirm how important it is for the people who care, the people who are really trying to drive change, to have independence and objectivity and not let this become completely co-opted by those who are coming into the space uh, most recently. What can you all do? Well, at Calvert, we are very engaged as an activist in trying to move public companies forward. When we see behaviors by corporate management that we think need to be changed, we contact them, we speak with them directly, and when necessary, we file shareholder resolutions and take it to a vote. Um, this is the role of the investor in the capital markets. We vote our proxies, not just for management, we vote our proxies for the people in an effort to solve these major problems. And you are the people, as I said at the beginning, who are helping to redefine the social norms that we're asking the companies to live up to. We need you to join the, mo join the movement. We need you to engage. We need you to, to vote your proxies. We need you to contact company management alongside of the players like Calvert. The more voices, the better. And we are getting success. We're at a tipping point, and we need everybody, particularly those of you in this room, to join in. So thanks for being part of a fantastic movement. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you.